In this video, we're going to talk about how to find the distance between two points. So what we could use is something called the distance formula. And here it is. D is equal to the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. Now, the first thing we need to do is identify the coordinates. This is the x coordinate and this is the y coordinate. And since that's the first point, we're going to call it x1, y1. And then for the other point, this is going to be x2, y2. So what we need to do at this point is plug in the numbers into the formula. So x2 is 4, x1 is 1, y2 is 6, y1 is 2. And now let's do the math. So 4 minus 1 is 3, 6 minus 2 is 4. 3 squared, that's 3 times 3, which is 9. 4 squared is 4 times 4, which is 16. 9 plus 16 is 25. And the square root of 25 is 5. So that is the distance between these two points. Now, another way in which you can get the answer is you can actually graph a picture to find the answer. So let me show you. That is not a straight line. Let's do that one more time. Now let's plot the points. So P1 is at 1 comma 2. So the X value is 1, the Y value is 2. So that's our first point. Now P2 is at an x value of 4 and a y value of 6. So P2 is right here. And we want to calculate the distance between those two points. And what we can do is we could form a right triangle. So in order to go from P1 to this point, we need to travel three units to the right. And in order to go this direction, to get to P2, we need to travel from 2 to 6, or 4 units up. So all we need to do is find the hypotenuse of the right triangle. And we could use the Pythagorean theorem to get that answer. This is A, B, and C. So in this example, A is 3, B is 4, and we're looking for C. So according to the Pythagorean theorem, C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. So that's 3 squared plus 4 squared. And so we get 9 plus 16, which is 25. And then taking the square root of both sides gives us the value of C. So C, or the hypotenuse, is 5. And thus, that is the distance between points 1 and 2 on this graph, which is the same answer that we got using the distance formula. Now, for the sake of practice, let's try another example. Go ahead and use the distance formula to calculate the distance between the two points shown on the board. Feel free to take a minute, pause the video, get out a piece of paper and work on this example. And then when you're done, play the video to see if you have the right answer. So first, let's begin by identifying the coordinates of each point. So we have x1, y1, and x2, and y2. Next, let's write the distance formula. So it's equal to the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. And now, let's plug in the data. So x2 is 9, and then minus x1. x1 is negative, negative 3. And then y2 is negative 1, minus y1, which is 4. Now, notice that we have two negative signs next to each other. 9 minus negative 3 is the same as 9 plus 3. And so that becomes 12. Negative 1 minus 4, that's negative 5. 12 squared, that's 12 times 12, which is 144. Negative 5 squared, that's negative 5 times negative 5, which is positive 25. 
and then 144 plus 25 is 169. And the square root of 169 is 13. So this is the distance between these two points. So now you know how to find the distance between two points using the distance formula.